Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Tipsy, tipsy trailers, trailers, where the trailers get tipsy and tell you what we think about the drink. All that. Salute. Salute. All right, let's get these out of the way. So today, we're going to be tasting Avion's Añejo. Comes in a very nice cardboard barrel. <laughs> um... So this cost, I think it was $48. Yes, about $48. $48. This is aged for 24 months, which is a little bit longer. Well, not a little bit, twice as long as a usual Añejo. Most Añejos are aged for about a year. Um, you have, I mean, there's varying ages and ranges, but uh, let's open it up and see what we got. All right. Mm -hmm. They got it all wrapped in paper. Very nicely packaged. So, um, let's see. Avion, all their piñas are grown in Jesus Maria, or I guess technically Jesus Maria. <laughs> small, small town in Mexico, outside of Jalisco, I believe. And they do theirs a little bit different. They roast them for three days. And they use like some ultra filtration system. And they age them in whiskey barrels. And this is the product that you're left with. Uh. So a lighter amber color. Um, and you get those various colors. Some are dark, some are lighter. This one, more on the light side. Yes. Is this a rebel? No, this is the Inyeho. No. Yes. See, usually Ruffles is uh, about that color, color, huh? Yeah. So this is batch 129 according to the kaleidoscope. And let's say it says uh, rich, warm oak, and vanilla. So let's see what we get. All right. So this will be our first um, corking. Ladies first. Yes. So as we take a look at the bottle here, it has a very nicely done label uh very simple blue and gold nothing really special you can tell they didn't they put more into the tequila and not to the bottle a lot of key tequilas you there are a lot of money and you're paying for the case or the glassware avion very simple um a square bottle with some gold and blue and it looks really good very subtle and let's hope that, that the flavor represents the packaging i guess And let's see what we got. All right. That is a lot. Um, Oops. Have you ever tried like opening your tequila with um, some water? Because I know a lot of people do that. With whiskey, I've never done tequila with water. I have seen people do it with tequila. I don't think I. I think that's a little blasphemous, but. Who knows? Not for me. So we have, it's not really a rich color at all. Um, sometimes the colors are a little bit different in the glass than it would be in the glass you're drinking out of. Same color. So very light. A little bit of an alcohol smell. Not bad. It's not like, oh, like burn your nose type. That's good though. So. Little oats. And I'm not getting a lot from this as far as the nose. Um, we're not, we're going to give you real thoughts. We're not going to tell you this smells like the top of a shoe or anything <laughs> like that. We're going to tell you exactly what we smell oh, um, according to our palates and our noses. All right, we're not refined. Uh -huh. We have been drinking tequila for a very long time. We've tried hundreds. Um, as you can see, most of these are tequila bottles, and this yeah. is maybe 1% of the bottles that we've had over the years. Yeah, our favorite store to go to is Total, Total Wine. Sure. Total and Wine for two. We were there, to yeah, Wine. we were there today and trying to we ask. We were there for like an hour. Yeah, we were asking one of the associates uh, 
about tequila and he was like you guys had more tequila than I had <laughs> and the, the funny thing is we asked the, one of the gentlemen he was uh, over in the I think the vodka and the gin section we said hey do you have anybody that has um, a lot of experience with tequila because we were over there before we even asked for help we usually mm-hmm. don't ask for help but we were kind of at a loss on what to try and so he comes over there and he's like try this try this and we're like, oh, we've had that we've had that Oh, we don't like this, we like this. And so at, at the end of it, we ended up just getting what we decide, what we wanted because yeah. he's like, I don't know what to tell you. He gave me a couple recommendations or he gave us a couple recommendations of things he hadn't tried that he heard good things about. So um, that's kind of a backstory. We've been drinking tequila for a six years. or seven mm-hmm. years now. Um, funny story, when we first started drinking tequila, I think it was like 2014. I mean, I'd been drinking, myself, I'd been drinking tequila for a very long time. But as with a lot of people, they drink Patron um, or 1800, and that's kind of where I was. I was drinking that all the time. So I didn't know what tequila was, what good tequila was. And we were in Vegas, it's like 2014, with, uh, with it was when we went by ourselves. Ugh. Maybe like 2014. Yeah, I think so. So 2014, and this is just to show you how, um, I guess, ignorant I was in tequila. So we're at a bar. And the guy's telling us, we're like, hey, I want a tequila, I want a good tequila. And he gives me this tequila, and I thought it was amazing. And it's not a bad tequila, but it was Altos. It was Altos. And in 2014, I thought Altos was premium (laughs) tequila. So uh, we've we've come a long way. We've come a long way. Um, All right, but back back to the Avion and Yeho. And um, I I like Avion. Um, I have a bottle of Avion 44 up there. And I think we got that last New Year's. Uh, yeah, we that did. New Year's. Well, not last because you were gone, but the year the New before. Year's before that. That's right. Yeah. The New Year before we got that, and I kept the bottle because uh, we keep certain bottles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, it's really good. So this is a step below that. So basically, that's their Echeñejo. And how tequila works, for those of you who do not know, typically you have a Blanco or a Plata. Then you have a Repo, Reposado which is um, aged, um, I think it's two to six months in different barrels. So Blanco or Plata is clear or white, and then you start aging it, and you you get a repo. You age it a little bit longer, a year to three years, you get an Añejo. And then anything beyond that, you get an extra Añejo, which that's an extra Añejo, this is the Añejo. So you have Blanco, Repo, Añejo, Extra Añejo. And uh, a little bit more nose, see if I can describe it a little bit more. You can tell them what you think. I'm getting just like a little bit of like nutty, nutty. I get flavors. the nutty and I get the a little bit of the oak. Um, a little caramel. I'm there. getting a little bit of a sweet note. Mm-hmm. A little like brown sugar, caramel. Mm-hmm. Um, I it's, think... If you look at the back, it tells you what it has in there. Oh. Um, for as far as taste wise, I don't know if Let's you want to taste it first and then try to guess what's in there. Yeah, before you yeah. <laughs> look at Let's the back and so, see if you can get it. Yeah, let's do that. So, right. wait, did you kind of clear your palate after that shot? Yeah. So the shot was not this. The shot was something else. Um, that's just what we do. But I don't even have any tequila on my on my palate anymore. Yeah. Um, so to one more time for what I have as far as the nose, I have like some oakiness, a little bit like oaty, like earthy, a little bit. Um, I still smell a little bit, a good amount of alcohol. His nose is better than mine. I'll tell um, you that. Nutty and like sweet. I I can't really. It's like brown sugar or caramel. I do get the sweet note in there. Like hot dog water. <laughs> <laughs> I'm boiled. Um, um, and that's what I got as far as note nose is concerned you um you pretty much said all the things that i kind of smell i mean you had a couple more in there that i didn't smell but yeah you're more of the expert than i am you just gave them a whole class on the -hmm. different types of tequila so all right for the taste let's see what we got Definitely very sweet. Very sweet. Extremely smooth. 
So all the alcohol you smell, you don't feel it as you drink it, which is, it's a testament to the quality of their production and the, the attention to detail they put in when they're crafting their tequila. I'm definitely just getting um, a lot of sweet notes. What you smell, you don't taste. Like some, like dried, like fruit, maybe like a little bit of a dried mango kind of. Yeah, I definitely taste the caramel in there. Um, I don't really, I slightly. It does have the earthy kind of taste to it. Yeah, I slightly get the oak taste, but barely. Yeah, you know does. what I'm saying? Yeah. And the and sweet a, note takes over. Yeah, so it says rich, warm oak and vanilla right on the, on the case here. But I'm getting more of a dry fruit. I definitely get the vanilla. Mm. It is very, very rich as far as flavor is concerned. And though this isn't a review of uh, 44, it is it is a close, close second to the 44. Granted, it is a second to the 44. But generally, um, a $40 bottle and a $120 bottle, the, the flavor profiles are vastly different. But yeah. this is a, a, a very close second. Um. What can I compare this to? Because I can almost compare it to, uh, what's the E40? Um, e Corita? E Corita. I don't know. I, think, I could be saying that wrong. We're going to have to look be, it up. I could uh, It's it definitely his name in Spanish. Yeah, it's E40 in Spanish. Um, it's definitely kind of similar. I think, um, I think the E41, when we did that, was a, a bit sweeter. I think this is a bit more... Um, this your doesn't taste. have as much flavor as that one. Yeah, your taste is different from your, his is different from mine. But um, if I had to compare it to something, um, I would compare it to that. Really? Yeah. I, would. I can see the comparison, but I think. Just because it, just, I don't think we really too much drink too many sweet tequilas. Do we? No. We don't. No. We don't. Um, the, the Vulcan, the one I tried, the, it's, we'll have to do one on that. It's uh, really sweet. Very sweet. I, oddly, I haven't had that one. Oddly sweet. We'll probably do a review on it. Mm -hmm. It is uh, oddly sweet for a tequila. So, um, like rum. You can get a rum, and rums will be extremely sweet. I mean, they're, they're made from sugar cane. Yeah. Um, but this tequila, I will have to do, we'll have to do a shot on it. But it's really sweet, like uh, wait, almost, almost I want to figure out sweet. if I'm the only one that tastes my alcohol like I do. Like I have to add spit and roll it on my tongue. <laughs> what? No, Does that I, sound I, weird? You, you mean like yeah, I have to like in your mouth and yeah, no, that's yeah, I'm just that's trying to, make, to do. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure that you know I'm not being weird, but um, yeah, it. It definitely, if I had to compare it to something, I definitely would compare it to that. I wouldn't say that I would drink this a lot. Um, I could, I would, I like it enough to drink it. I, to be honest, so like on a scale of one to ten, I give this like a seven and a half. Has a lot of good flavor. It doesn't have much burn. Um, it's very smooth, mm -hmm. but it's not bold or rich. It says rich, like it says rich, warm, open vanilla. I wouldn't call this a very rich tequila. No, me neither. Um, I think the flavor is great. I think um, the flavor is. So what I'm getting ready to say might kind of redact what I said before, but it's a little bit underwhelming. Um, but I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just not like, oh my god, this is top five. This is a seven and a half out of ten. You um, give it a seven and a half? Out of ten, it's like a C plus. That's pretty high. A C plus? I give it... Like a five is a failure. A, a six is like... A five is not a failure. Out of ten? Oh, yeah. out of ten? Yeah, mm. seven and a half. That's a C plus. Well, that's like a C. E. You guys tell us what you think. I think if, if you get anything below a seven and a half... It's not even worth going. I give anywhere. it a, a. I'll give it a five and a half. Wow. All right. So, um, color. 
I don't know if we can really grade the color. I mean, it looks like a repo. So if you're looking for a deep, rich, beautiful, brown Añejo, this is a five. This looks like a repo. I mean, it's probably a shade darker than most repos, but that doesn't mean anything because you can find Añejos lighter than this. You can. Um, maybe I should have the bottle here. Um, so color-wise, it's not striking at all. Um, smell, I would... It has a very good smell to it. I mean, um, the smell's not bad at all, but it definitely doesn't taste like it smells. No, it doesn't. So I so. give the aroma maybe maybe a six. No, I'd give the aroma a six. It's you six have and to a half judge or a seven. It all around. So that's why I say five and a half. He's. I, I would, I would say I'd give the aroma a higher rating if I didn't smell so much alcohol in the beginning and the end. So in the middle, you get all those different notes and those um, those wonderful aromas. But in the beginning, as soon as you put your nose to the glass, it's alcohol. And then when you finish, it's alcohol. Taste, um, like I said, taste is a little bit underwhelming. It's good. It, you have a lot of good flavors in there. It's very smooth. It is a vibrant tequila, but it just doesn't, it doesn't hit you in the face. And I don't mean that like, like ever clear. Right. Um, I mean like just flavor. It doesn't, it doesn't give you that I'm a Añejo. Right. One thing for sure is if you're a tequila, not if, not if you're a tequila drinker, but if you're a Patron drinker. Oh, you'll love it. I would <laughs> say that you should, and you don't really try no other tequila, I would say that you should try this and maybe this is like an alternative for Patron. I mean, it has a completely different taste. Very Patron, different flavor profile. But that's if you like sweet tasting tequilas, I don't know. Everybody's different. We're I'm not. We're not big on Patron. No, we hate Patron. So anything to us is better than Patron. Believe it or not. I will definitely <laughs> pick eighteen hundred over Patron. So I probably put pick Salsa over Patron. I no, just don't like Patron. I just recently, not too long ago, about four or five months ago got salsa just to use it as the mix drink a mixture drink to mix it in some margaritas and it made the margaritas taste disgusting that's true i probably so, would get salsa <laughs> we'll get jose if you buy cuevo salsa, no jose, jose cuevo, cuevo is just as bad no 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 we the only reason why i say jose cuevo because it's a good mixing tequila it's, i mean you jose Quevel is not to sip and enjoy, but for to make mixed for drinks. Cheap mixed drinks. So Jose let's Cuervo talk about is Jose really Cuervo. good for let's, mixed drinks. We'll talk about Jose Cuervo for two seconds. I make mixed drinks and I drink mixed drinks with um, him. So Jose Cuervo is so there's I like there's Jose Cuervo uh, Reserva, uh, Reserva, um, and I actually haven't tried it yet. It's like 120 bucks, and I've heard a lot of good things. I'll have to go try it, but um, like the Jose. Cuervo Gold. So if, if you get tequila, there's a big thing, uh, a big rule that I feel that everybody must follow with tequila. And that is if it does not say 100% pure de agave or 100% blue agave, yeah. don't get it. It's mixed with a bunch of bullshit, sugars, and all this other shit. And if that's where you get the hangovers, and that's where you get sick from. That is true. So all the people who like, I hate tequila, you get sick, it makes me a different person, that's because you're drinking, I don't even know what they put in this stuff. So like Jose Cuervo Gold is just their regular Jose Cuervo bullshit with food coloring, essentially. But anyways, um, yeah, Jose Cuervo is fine for mixed drinks. As far as the Avion and Yeho, um, I, I, I'll stand by my seven and a half overall because the flavor outweighs the aroma and the color it is a very good tequila for an average tequila drinker and for somebody who doesn't drink tequila this would be probably the the tip of the spear so um my recommendation at least buy it once try it mm -hmm. you will enjoy it you will not regret it this is something that i will not buy all the time, but I will get it here and there. Uh, we'll for get it. We'll get it for parties and yeah, make it we'll get it. House. You know, and I, this is something I would give somebody as a gift that is yeah. not a big tequila drinker because yeah. it is a very enjoyable mm -hmm. tequila, without a doubt. So if right. you're not big on tequila, you don't know tequila. I think 
anybody would like My this. Favorite. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Um, so I recommend Avion and Yeo. For sure. Seven and a half. Good body. Good color. Good nose. Great. Great aftertaste. Very smooth. So to that, I think we shall drink to our health. The Tipsy Trailers. Thank you.